All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's just get right into it, man. Look, man, one of my most prolific abilities is the ability to see things from other people's perspective. And the perspective that I choose this morning is that of the Gym Stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. We're going to try to go super crazy. Not just crazy. Everybody say they're going crazy. We're going super crazy this year, man, I, um, on 2K21. And, uh, you know, if you don't do anything else, man, check it out, man. Shameless plug. Shoot or shoot, man. Hey, go. Choose your shirt. Choose whatever you want. I definitely got to drop the prices on some of these, man, because it's just shoot or shoot. Actually, I'm putting Gemstar in the back, so uh, that might not be a big thing. But, yeah, go over to the site. Breeze Tees. It's down in the comment section, man. Make sure you go check that out, man. Tons of shirts there. Uh, you know, shameless plug. But you're going to have to go to the site to see a lot more of the shirts. And we even got a joint where you can custom build your shirts. But, hey, all that's for nothing. Listen to me, man. One thing that people are missing out on with this whole thing, and I've been hearing you down in the comments. I don't want y'all to be like I'm just being a 2K homer and all of that. I'm hearing y'all down in the comments. I'm seeing what you're saying. I'm looking on Reddit. I'm seeing all of these things, man. And one of the most consistent things that I'm seeing is uh, this right here about NBA 2K. Can we just all just agree to boycott the game? Now, this happens every year. There's some type of hashtag cancel 2K or, you know, in our cancel culture. We always canceling 2K. We always telling 2K, you know, whatever. But let's just read what this guy says right here. He says, I understand the fact that development costs are high and we will even, and we, and we will get even with, uh, we will get even with next gen. What is, what is he trying to say? Costs are high and we'll get even with, okay, I guess he's trying to say get even higher with next gen. Okay, I just can't help but to feel that the move that they did with NBA 2K21 is a bit of a dick move. Knowing that they have MTX all over the game, that's 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 uh, microtransactions all over the game. Let's talk about let's let's talk with our money and encourage good industry practices. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, my boy, it ain't gonna happen, Calvin. It's a, it, it, for a few reasons. We we only have. NBA 2K to play if we want to have any type of basketball game. And I'm with you. I do understand that that the the costs of developing a video game have gone up. But I mean, let's say if let's say if it costs 40 million to to um to develop the game. I don't know how much it costs to develop a game. I'm just saying even if it costs even if it costs 400 million to develop a game, they made like a billion like last year, something like that, something crazy like that. I don't know what the official numbers are, but y'all get what I'm saying. You have a budget, you you go in, you do your budget, and uh, because of that, you you end up having. But let's look at one more thing here real quick. This guy actually broke it down, and I'm not going through this whole deal, but you know, say what they're, what they're saying is for people defending NBA 2K charging $70 due to inflation, here's what you're missing. He goes through, he outlines it. Um, you know, and, and everybody's always talking about boycotting 2K, even though Kai, even though Kai give you the same fist and don't care about you every year, but nobody ever boycotts their game. Maybe in that community they do. Uh, but you know, like I said, he's just saying that pretty much the same thing that I'm saying, that this game is riddled with microtransactions and they make the money back hand over fist, you know, time and time again. So them using the, ah, ah, it's development costs, you know, that that's, that's something crazy, man. They, they shouldn't do that. Also, also, before we get into it, and I'm going to give you my opinion on the whole thing, I want y'all not to take my word. But let's take the word of somebody respected in all communities. The word of Angry Joe. And, uh, you know, we're going to check this out, man. Let's see, what, let's, let's, let's see what's going on. I don't think you can see, see this guy right here. So let me... Let me get this aligned properly. I want y'all to be able to see everybody's face. I don't know. I don't know how that got cut off. But, hey, it did. All right? So sorry about that that we're doing it live. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I got I to gotta reshape things live. Anyway, uh, this is actually going to be gonna be pretty doggone fun when I get it popping. Let's get it. Pointed this out. They just... 
in their statement, it is so wrong. They say, you know, basically, we deserve 10 bucks more. Hmm. And you do not. You absolutely <laughs> do not. You've I agree. time and time again that you make more money from the microtransactions, from the busting the card packs, that you're willing to offer the game for free. Yeah. Wow. Now, that is something that I definitely have said uh, time and time again. They're making a lot of money off of microtransactions. They're making more money off of my team than anything. But let's You're continue. willing to offer the game for $5 for discounts because that upfront sale means nothing to them because they make so much more money off the back end. This is a freemium game being charged a premium price that they know they don't even need to charge the premium price anymore. And it's so fucked up that they use this game of all games to do. Ooh, he is spitting facts, chat. He spin facts. It is a freemium game. How many people got the game for free uh, this year in some way, shape, form, or fashion? Let me know down in the comments. I definitely got it for free on Xbox this year. Um, you know, they sent out the codes, and uh, people just hit me up, and I, I definitely got it for free. I'm not even going to lie. Let's continue. Do it. Then you can't even justify it. That maybe if it was like Final Fantasy VII, a right? Classic. And then he gave us the whole game, right? Right. And it came in motherfucking four discs. Then <laughs> yes. Okay, yes, 70 bucks. Maybe even 80 bucks. Hey, look at my boy over here. He is just he is just like he with it. He's with all of it. He's like, yo, I feel what you're saying, Joe. I'm with it. I'm with I'm with all the smoke. I want all the smoke. I'm with it. Let's continue. If you give it all to us at once. But not motherfucking NBA 2K <laughs> of all games. With all the <laughs> shitty microtransactions still in this. This is turning into an angry rant. This is supposed to be an angry Ju Joe Here's, News show. Hey, I don't know what, what to do. Is. I'll Sometimes make a you separate do what you video. Do. Yes for last. So <laughs> for me as someone who refuses to play this game, it's like, oh, hey, look. Now, 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 now look, I will tell you this. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to be completely honest with you. But like I said, we, we'll talk about what the I got to say later. Shit sandwiches went up. Doesn't impact my life. It does at impact all. your life. You dumb mother. <laughs> Don't you realize that they're doing this to test the waters, Alex? You know. Now, this is the part that I agree with. Not the fact that 2K is more, but this right here. All this to be true. I do, but that's And other right, publishers though. are now going to be like, okay, that does years, that though. sell? No, yes, Definitely you're right. Are. You have been doing it for years. But. You did you notice when they asked him, "Hey, are your other games on the Xbox uh, Series X and the PlayStation Five going to be seventy dollars mm. as well?" They do this cagey statement where it's like, "Well, exactly. you know, value and uh, we we feel this and that," yeah. and so other companies are literally sitting there salivating because they all want they all want to go to seventy dollars. Well, right. This is they true. Can, they can no, go please don't. So this is true. They definitely want to go to seventy dollars. And other people do want to go to $70. And I do really feel like they are using 2K as the litmus test for this. But the thing is, I I'll tell y'all like what I think the, of this. The reason they're already the, higher. The, the, any, so the, the price of games has been $60 since PlayStation 3, right? This is correct. $60. It's what PlayStation 3 games cost. With inflation, that's $76. So games are actually cheaper per inflation than PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 games were way overcosted, so that doesn't matter. Understood. Place, Not, yeah. So $70, were way even from the time a PlayStation 4 was released, is only a, what, $4 increase uh -huh. right, mm -hmm. based on inflation. Now, according to PlayStation and Xbox, the price to develop games well, is about to Joe about to blow, times. boy. I, this is one of those things where it's just like, I Joe thought is we about to blow. He's seething. Already and we are yeah. hey. now where it turns out. We're only getting like fucked in the ass a little bit. No, no, they already bit. did mm -hmm. the billions and billions of dollars that are generated through the freemium tactics, through the loot That's boxes, only 2K. Through the season passes, through. He does have a point there. It is only 2K or 2K is one of the biggest, uh, what would you call it, offenders of the freemium uh, model. And so. We'll, like I said, I'll tell you. No, what that's I think. every fucking game that gets released now. Exactly. Man. Don't you see the different collectors editions and things like that? They've right. Already 2K is just the biggest offender. Up. What we have here at the end of this year is smoke and mirrors. Exactly. Smoke and mirrors. It's just another way for them to potentially rip us off another ten dollars up front in a goddamn freemium economy. In the, uh, especially in this particular mm -hmm. case, the NBA 2K. Exactly. And this that's a terrible one. Fuck. Too. You 2K Guys, don't games, buy it. and that's how most people feel right there. Don't buy it. And tell your friends. And okay, you know what? Maybe I maybe I don't want to say fuck you too early, 
We we'll can see. potentially review it. We can potentially look at it and see, is it in fact built from the ground up? As and this is the part that I said I was talking about on yesterday. Is it built from the ground up? Is it a completely new game? Is it going to be? We don't know, but it had better be. Because if it's not, this is the type of backlash that, that, that we're going to get. They said, you said it, you said it, right? Exactly, they written, said it. Built from the ground up. Quote. Guess what it said. And see if that's true and see if it does provide $10 more of value in I don't its think it does. graphics. <laughs> I don't think it does. They're not going to do much except for maybe touch You've seen the Madden engine. It's the yep. exact same fucking thing. The exact thing. same that's thing. obviously a different company. But I, if they see that their peers aren't doing And that, that was the biggest sticking point that Ronnie said. Ronnie said, well, we're going to give you Madden. And it's going to give you the exact same game. And it's going to be the same thing. And it's going to be the same thing. Because it's the same thing, it's going to be the same thing. And did you want us to be lazy and just give you the same game or what? We don't know. We going to say, though. I, I mean, but he said, we gonna, we build a new game from the ground up. And? Doing it. Why would they do it in the next Exactly. Year, you know? So I... I I think it's all bullshit, and this is a tactic and a ploy by 2K Games, and we have to m make it not work. Do not buy. Do not buy 2K. What is it? 21? 21. 21. 21. Mm. Do not buy NBA 2K Mix 21. Mix yeah, tight. On the Xbox Series X. Even more fucked up that you haven't said yet. It's probably listed in, in your notes uh, yeah, here, but you they are not it. giving you free upgrades. Mm. You know how Cyberpunk... A game that's sixty dollars that could probably charge a hundred dollars for how much content it is. is well, he is dropping a mixtape on two K right now, chat. In it, and they don't fucking gouge. And Cyberpunk is gonna be an awesome game too. Microtransactions and ultimate team. Hey, you want to put together your ultimate hacker team? You know they don't do. He called it ultimate hacker team, and it is. I ain't gonna All lie. that stuff in the single player experience that they're about to put out in this RPG world. And they're going to give you a free upgrade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that 2K, owned by the same companies that own Grand Theft Auto and Rockstar, and Bingo. makes ridiculous amounts of millions and millions and millions and... Off microtransactions. Hundreds of millions of dollars and billions at this point. Cannot give you a free upgrade if you buy the NBA exactly. 2K1 on that. You have no. no you have to actually buy the exactly. Buying it. You actually have to buy the hundred dollar cons version. Consumers are dumber. The it's hundred dollar hey, version. All right, so there we go, man. That's enough of the angry Joe. Joe, bro, man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, I really feel like what he's saying is is the truth, and what 2K is saying is cap. Like, it can't cost that much more. Look, you got marketing people, right? And see, this is a double-edged sword. You've got marketing people that are telling you, hey, you have, you can charge $10 more, right? That you can charge $10 more. And then you got the people saying, well, we have, we're developing two games this year, so we should charge $10 more. Then you got your marketing people saying, well, they're gonna go for it, so you can charge $10 more. The thing that kills me about this whole thing is that, oh man. If it's a completely new game from the ground up and they're just charging us 10 more dollars just this year because they developed two games, I could actually probably go for it and get behind it. I'm, I'm gonna be really unimpacted by it because I'm gonna get the $100 edition anyway. And like you said, they are hiding it behind the paywall. I'm getting that $100 edition. I'm really gonna be unimpacted. But if 2K is going forward on the next generation are 69 bucks or if this thing works and as a whole everything goes to 69 bucks on the next generation the only thing i can tell you is boy those graphics better be immaculate because i mean it just better be worth the whole thing because from what we're looking at this is a trend they're using 2k as a litmus test and it's like you know that 2k is gonna fudge the numbers because then okay so they're gonna say we sold x number of copies on 2k or we got this many people playing 2k this is how many copies we moved right they're going to use those numbers right and they're going to use those numbers even though those numbers are not going to be authentic they said they had like 14 million 15 million people playing 2k they gave away like like 12 million free copies you understand what i'm saying but the microtransactions always get them back up right like they said they can literally afford to give this game away for free and and still make billions off of it I bet that, that they said they actually put out this is all public records. I think they may have said that 60% of their revenue is made from microtransactions. So let's just say 
it costs it costs a hundred million to develop the game, two hundred million to develop the game. They make a billion dollars off the game. Sixty percent of that billion dollars came off a of microtransaction. That means that four hundred million came from, you know what I'm saying? Came from people actually buying the game. That's crazy that they give the game away and still make that much. But I told y'all because my team is the most played game mode. It's the most profitable game mode. We know people that spend 10 grand that aren't even content creators. They spend a grand a week, a grand a month, all that stuff. I'm telling you, man, it's an addiction. And, and you know, some people do it because they can afford to and they really enjoy it. They just like popping packs. But, you know, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do y'all think the 2K is becoming the litmus test? And I think this is the worst litmus test for this entire thing because 2K is always going to sell. They're going to do well. They're the only basketball game out there. They're the only one. And, and like I said, they actually decided to forego or circumvent the Xbox Smart Delivery because what they want to do is, I don't know if they want to push this thing to $70. Do you think $70 is going to be the standard for games? Or do you think it's just gonna be, this is just one of those 2K things, man? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. I gotta get up out of here, man. Gotta go work on some computers and all that stuff. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. I ain't even have time to make a thumbnail for this thing, man. But I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Y'all sleep.